You're listening to the Pagan Center Podcast, bringing unique and intelligent perspective to the masses using contemporary technology, allowing for free discussion of one's personal beliefs and enlightenment of those not familiar with a particular religion. We bring to the forefront many issues that are ignored or shunned upon by mainstream religion. We discuss topics on a religious and non-religious level as they relate to our panel representing varied belief systems. Our brute honesty and candid opinion has made us one of the longest running and most popular pagan podcasts. Feel welcome to call in live or submit listener feedback via our website, pagancenteredpodcast.com. We do face a lot of, a lot of challenges to keep an article from being deleted on Wikipedia. We have a lot of authors who have been deleted. And, you know, do they have mainstream sources to cite? Yes, they do. Are they published by a publisher like Llewellyn, who is like a, you know, real publisher? Yes, they are. And yet they're still removed for lack of notability. So there's some funky things going on with with notability that I, I don't have a firm handle on and I can't figure out a rhyme or reason on it. And see, to me, that, that, that completely undermines what I do like about Wikipedia is that Wikipedia has a page on just about anything you can think of. And the fact that Wikipedia has all of this stuff that may not be notable to everyone, but it gives you a jumping point to do your own research, to me, is the, the primary benefit of, of having Wikipedia. Um, the idea that you should limit things, you know, uh, whether or not they are widely notable. I mean, things that are widely notable, if you, if you have to choose between um, Jack Shelby Spong who is an Episcopalian priest who is sort of a, a radical uh, ass-kicker, sorry, um, who, who has been seminal in changing the, uh, the role of the Episcopalian church in the past uh, four decades. And you have to compare him for notability against Snooki. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm willing to bet that Snooki has more information on her Wikipedia page than he does. So, it, notability to me, when I hear that word, I'm thinking popularity. And that these articles are being judged on whether or not they're captain of the, the cheerleading squad. Well, I'm, right now I'm viewing this more or less as a plan and brainstorming thing. We're just going to let people eavesdrop on. So, let me, let me just see if I got, if I got the field... L- if I, if I understand the field, okay. We got our we got our hazing to go through before we actually get our stuff published and reasonably accepted on a regular basis. We've got our fair share of trolls to deal with, and unfortunately, in the community, it mirrors the uh, real world community. So there are some people with a certain bias against us. But at the same time, it's just like any other organization. You got to prove allegiance to the organization, not just that you're there for a particular personal benefit. So right. if you're going to go there and you're going to contribute, don't just contribute to the pagan stuff. Contribute to other areas of Wikipedia. There's a lot of articles on Wikipedia that are like, hey, this page is great, but it needs some cleanup. Anybody just want to clean us up a little? You know, go for the easy stuff and fix it. Okay, oh, definitely. so... Yeah, and I've been contributing to other articles. However, <laughs> in in their friendly, welcoming manner, <laughs> I've been tagged as a, a single source editor, which means I'm just I only signed up to troll on one particular topic, <laughs> just despite my editing in other areas so that's then you kind of should loudly proclaim thing. that you are a single source editor who just happens to be doing something else elsewhere that's yeah i did okay. i i did i i poked a little fun at that um <laughs> we'll see we'll see that's you know i think some of it is hazing yeah i think some of it is hazing i think i think some of it is not I think the direction that Wikipedia is moving in 
will make it extremely difficult for any new topic in paganism to be put up and kept. Okay, I'm, I'm good with that. Now, I would greatly appreciate if someone who's uh, compiling a list of the um, people who edit Christian pages who passionately uh, target the pag pagan ones. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind a list being kept handy. You know, because about a year, because about a year or so from now, that wouldn't, you know, it, it's something for a friendly conversation. It's like you know, hey, we're trying and all that, but. I think these people have a bit of a bias here, okay? It might be more than just a friendly conversation. This might be, a, you know, the sort of thing you'd want to take to the Lady Liberty League. I do a friendly conversation first, okay? That's, I, I have not directly this that type of thing, but if you can handle it in a friendly conversation first, go for it. If it can't be, I mean, because if you can you, I won't say you've made a friend, but you haven't put up a hurdle to a friendship. Okay, see, so if I go to the Lady Liberty League and say, okay, blah, 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 here's what's going on, then I might have to teach them about this whole issue and all that stuff. Then they're going to go about doing their deal, and quite frankly, I, how do I say this? If you could present this to Wikipedia in such a way that it benefits them to do something about it, yeah, that'd be the winning solution. I'm not I, saying I have the skills to do that. I, I just like to jump in and, and point out to people that the editing on Wikipedia isn't really hard, especially if you're if you use Wikipedia a lot. Um, I I don't edit a lot. I use it a lot. I don't edit a lot. But um, I was looking up some information on Mother Teresa, and uh, someone had written a book about her. When I went to his Wikipedia page, the, the, the grammar on a sentence about his family life uh, was just weird. So I just went in, and I didn't actually change the information. I just, you know, went in and made sure that the punctuation was in the right place and that the, the sentence made a little less Yoda-like since and um you know it took me all of two seconds and you know i made the change i noted the change and and it and it can be as easy as that it can be as easy as noticing that the punctuation punctuation on something is wrong and uh and going in and fixing that oh awesome um by the way i have had a wikipedia account for many years and it's not anti pig i realized an article i had edited a long time ago it's still actually up and running this is a but it's basically a list of notable student organizations at Clare University of Pennsylvania. And I managed to establish notability for the pagan group I used to run there. And till this day, even though the organization no longer exists, it's still on that Wikipedia page. So, hey, yay for notability. <laughs> well, and, you know, as some of the more experienced editors have told me, older articles are given far more leeway than new articles that are created. So if there is an older article that is limping along, wounded, and needs a lot of tender, loving care, it is more apt to stay and be allowed to stay, even though it's, it's you know, doesn't have any sources and it's poorly written, than a new article. A new article is going to come under fairly intense scrutiny and will be held to the newer standards that they're developing on Wikipedia. And yeah, I think some of it is due to um, things that happen on Wikipedia. You know, they've gotten burned on various things, and so they're trying to tighten it up. Um, you know, I, I I don't have a problem with that. I completely I completely understand it. Um, but just in you know, and people can click on this on this deletion and and read through, you know, the <laughs> what they're talking about. The goal line shifts every single time. Every time a new source is added, there's a reason why it's not good enough. And they're mainstream sources. There's always a reason, and you just go down it, and the goal line just shifts and shifts and shifts and shifts. So, you know, it, it, it's difficult anytime you're new to something to figure it out. 
but it's even more difficult when you feel like the guidelines are made of sand and you, you just can't get a handle on it. So what I'm interested in will be when the administrator comes in and I want to see what they do. Because the administrator is going to look. It's, they're not just going to count votes. The administrator is going to look at the different arguments and then make a decision on there, whether the article should be deleted, whether the ar article should be renamed and, and improved, or whether the article should stay you know, listed as Paganistan, but improved, and they'll just, you know, check back on it every three to six months and see if it's being improved. So those are kind of the three options that are laid out there. And I will be very interested to see how the administrator looks at this versus the editors looking at it. Well, I will say there, there is an established history of um, minority belief groups, you know, being successful in, uh, you know, fighting for their presence on Wikipedia. Um, you know, as many as you know, I, I, I uh, did very, very deep research into the other King community for many years. And, you know, one of the things that I remember early on was uh, the establishment of, uh, the, well, there's an, other, there was an article on the Wikipedia about Otherkin, and it wasn't very flattering. The community tried to fight it, but it was just individuals fighting against it and well, they ran into the same exact issues the pagan community is now facing. Uh, you know, running into rules, not understanding how, the rules of the road for Wikipedia, not understanding that because they are newbies, their opinion doesn't matter, even though they might be more experienced with the subject matter. And you can't come up with a, a you know, you're talking about a community that in the United States might measure in the thousands if you're very, very optimistic. You know, so it's a, it's a minuscule community compared to the pagan community. And yet, they've managed to band together, create a project, you know, or have an organized effort to maintain one article. You know, and, and their article on Other King was their foothold into Wikipedia. They, they looked over it, they monitored every change on that article, and that was, that was their, their firm establishment. I mean, I'm sure there's other articles now that they get into, but, you know, they wanted to control the conversation about them and their community and they were very successful in establishing a coordinated effort to do it respectfully and i think that's a model that pagans can very easily follow i think it is a model for us to follow but one of the things that we need is actual time to be able to do so j rob what was the date that you posted these articles um i, I have to go double check that i think it was I think it was a couple of months ago. One moment, I'll go check. Be right back. Okay. Yeah, but, uh, I, I because when, from when the article was posted to when it was tagged for deletion and this process was started, it was extremely quick. Yeah, it was, um, see, there's a difference in, in Wikipedia terms. There's tagged for deletion and there's tagged for speedy deletion. And this was tagged for speedy deletion. Well, the Sacred Path one was tagged for speedy deletion. This one was tagged for deletion, which okay. is why it hasn't yet been deleted and there's an actual discussion going on. Mm -hmm. So that's, you know, and, and I think how fast things went down with Sacred Path Center article was really, it, it was a very surprising thing how quickly that happened from when it was posted to when it was just poof gone. Um, you know, and, and I think people just weren't, prepared for that because you know in in most of the information that wikipedia puts out on how to create an article they always stress there's no deadline you know get a good basic portion up there and then other people see it and contribute to it and it's a process and you know that's and that's how they make it sound tag for speedy deletion is one of the most common reasons things never get taken off get never take off on wikipedia is because well they're already deleted right Exactly. And now, even though the other can with their article, and, and I understand exactly what you're saying on, you know, this needs to be a concerted effort and work within the rules and learn the system. Um, what they actually had going for them was actually, you know, appeared to them as a negative, which was someone else had created an article that was that was basically very derogatory towards them, but it was standing and staying. So they weren't worried so much or weren't under the pressure of this is going to disappear within seven days. Yeah. Can you completely research everything and get everything ready and, and look things up at the library that's in print form and not online and all these kinds of things? You know, can you do that within that time limit? 
um, you know, in one of the suggestions um, on the, you know, on the Paganistan and the deletion discussion, you know, one of the editors that is really pushing for deletion, and this person um, does seem to to target things outside of his religion, <laughs> um, you know, pretty much said, well, if you want time, then create it in your own little page, get it perfect, and then post it. So what he's saying is, unless you have a finished article, don't bother. Yeah, And this and is someone that's a new page patroller. That's basically the advice I would give as well as a person who has, uh, shall we say, been on the side of getting lots of been the person whose articles have been speedily deleted, yes. Yep, and and that is something in, because we do have a list of articles, you know, within the, the Neo-Pagan project. There's a list of articles they would love to have developed. There's a list of articles I would like developed. I'm sure there's more articles that J-Rob would like to develop. And that is something that I'm going to do is create it in my own personal space, have some of the more experienced editors who opposed the articles here look at it and give me suggestions and have them assist me and help me. Um, because especially if they're assisting and helping me, number one, it'll be a good article. Uh, but number two, they won't be the ones asking for it be to be deleted. Mm -hmm. They will probably help defend it. Um, can I tell you a little something I learned from the Federal Service? Just because you ask the person for help, just because they've been acting in your interest all the way up to bat, doesn't mean that they're necessarily on your team. So, no, yes, what you, yes, what you say has a lot of merit, but I wouldn't wager any uh, body parts that I'm attached to on it. Okay, that's a mental image I didn't need because my mind went right to the gutter on that one. Sorry. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. So in answer to the earlier question, and completely not going with that subject, it was originally posted on uh, April 20th. Right. So these articles were posted April 20th. And they were tagged for deletion in less than a month. Less than a month after they were posted. In fact, the Sacred Pass one, I think, was deleted. It was, it was posted. They tagged it for speedy deletion, and it was gone before it was even there a month. So that's how quickly they're moving. Yeah, I mean, it used to be a lot faster. I mean, I've had articles I posted that were deleted within hours. Yeah, I worked with Hellenic Pagans, and although I did not have a Wikipedia account... I was doing some of the research, doing some of the writing, and then the people with the accounts were actually posting it on there. People were deleting it as we added it. I mean, we would put it up there, and the information would be deleted. And we were sourcing the information out of, like, extremely well-known history books, you know, other things like that. So it's not that we didn't have reliable sources and couldn't show notability on on what we were putting up there, people were just doing the I'm going to peck you to death like a chicken approach of every time you touch this article, I'm going to erase this stuff. So uh, that's why I didn't do anything with Wikipedia for several years. One of our friends pointed out that uh, yeah, the um, there's a notable pagans list, and one of the, the first pagan listed there is uh, Pontus Pilate. Obviously, yeah, yeah. A pagan did not assemble that list. So, so yeah, a lot of editing needs to be done. Yeah, and I think it would be great if more people joined in. And you know, if you have a Wikipedia account, or if you want to get a Wikipedia account, um, you know, I'm sure there's other topics that you would like to edit or create articles in. You know, I'm I'm all about herbs, so I'm, I'm I've been digging into rosemary and working on that article quite a bit. Um, but definitely help us with some of these articles. Um, yeah, you know, let's, the, the, let's try to get this together. This wiki project thing is a, I don't know if this is a new addition to Wikipedia, I've not been previously aware of it, but 
the, the Neopagan Wikipedia project seems to uh, very well coordinated, it seems. I mean, there's like, okay, yeah. if you don't know what to do, here's some stuff that needs some work. <laughs> oh, definitely, yeah. They have, you know, proposed articles, articles that need tender loving care, sources needed. And then they also have examples of of a couple of pagan articles that have been rated as good. You know, so Wikipedia rates their articles, you know, good, okay, crap, gone. Uh, and these these were rated good, so that's something that you can look at and say, okay, here's what a good article looks like on paganism. Here's, here's something that will stand challenges, that type of thing, so you can model yours after that. Well, I think this has uh, been quite the productive conversation, and hopefully we can spread the word and spread the love and all that fun good stuff. Oh, yeah. You no, know, <laughs> I want to ask J. Rob a question. So, y you made two babies and then got told your babies were ugly, and not only were they <laughs> ugly, but they should have been aborted. So, you know, are you going to continue working on the Wikipedia projects? Are you going to create new articles, or has this completely turned you off? And you just want to finish this Pegasan project, and then w how do you feel going forward? I kind of want to see how. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm still hopeful that the Pegasan article will be saved, and I want to see what they regard as good uh, references, and then find those references. <laughs> there are a lot of articles that I yeah I want the I think the Sacred Path Center article should come back because. It is very notable. There's no doubt about yeah. it. Um, and once I uh, look into uh, Murphy's um, dissertation, I know, well, the last chapter is about, um, well, half of it's about the Sacred Path Center, so lots of information there to be found for good citations. And, yeah, um, the uh, Sacred Harvest Festival, there's just a ton of really good pagan stuff out there that really should have of Wikipedia entry. So yeah, I'm still going to keep working on it. I'll probably be sending them to you to check over, but yeah. <laughs> well, good. I'm I'm glad that you're going to continue with it. I, you know, I, I was worried you were going to say I'm going to make you guys beep this out. I was worried you guys were going to say fuck it and just, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm done with this. <laughs> I'm not dealing with it anymore. Because it is bullshit to deal with and you know we all have lives and all that kind of stuff and and you know you have to you have to gauge what you know what, what battles you want to fight and what ones you don't and so good I'm, I'm glad this community is too important the, the contemporary paying community is too important to not fight for you know I, I haven't had a lot constructive to say tonight because again my, my brain is is melting um, because I'm under the weather but listening to you guys talk and especially talk about how you know this is too important and you're going to keep fighting and everything uh, it's it's inspirational it's too it's too easy to just say walk away it, you know yeah but um but yeah well done well done uh I, I, I'm excited hearing you guys talk about about continuing to work on this despite despite the challenges. Well, I I will agree with J. Rob that the the community here in this area is extremely special. Um, it is an actual community that acts as a community. Um, and, and I've heard other pagans talk about their community and how their community functions and that kind of stuff. And, you know, I just think we have one of the absolute best pagan communities in the entire country. You're here. And, and thank you very much, Star. That was very nice. Thank you. Well... We need our, we need our inspiration wherever we can get it. <laughs> and I will admit that I have had days where I am grasping at straws for that. So yeah, yeah, I will, 
I will live for a few weeks on on this conversation alone. So so thank you. Now she doesn't have to do an IV drip of tequila. <laughs> I don't have to. That doesn't but mean <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> There is that distinction. <laughs> you know, picturing this from their point of view, now, who here doesn't have a friend that has activities that are a little bit questionable? Okay, I'm not asking for details. Now, looking at this from their, from the uh, Wikipedia's point of view, Later on, we're going to be talking to them, or I'm using we figuratively, and we're going to be saying, okay, this is what we want, and by the way, I've noticed your three buddies over there who edit stuff are somewhat, I'm calling them out, I'm being uh, biased. There has to be a way to say that tactfully. Well, well, what you're basically saying is that over time you develop a reputation, and then when you say this person's behaving in bad faith, people listen to you once you have your reputation built. Data should speak for itself. It should. It doesn't. I'm really avoiding putting in a political reference here. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, I am. <laughs> so are we go with this topic? We're already in an hour. I don't think we'll ever be done with it. <laughs> we'll be done with it for today, and then we can come back to it later. We can come back to this in a year and see what happened. You know, that would be that would be interesting to see. You know, that works if for me. you want to do this at a later time again and just check back and see how the you know, how the articles are going and that type of thing and, and um, just, you know, do an update. I think that would be wonderful. Yeah. It's not like we're going to stop being pagan. <laughs> it's not like we're going to stop broadcasting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I think that does it for tonight. Thank you, everyone. And especially thank you, J-Rob, because you're kind of... Thank you. I don't want to say you created this mess because you did it. You just <laughs> did the bystander who got run over by a freight truck. And we're like, WTF. And now you started this whole conversation. <laughs> and mostly it's Kara. Kara has really stepped up and been the... I mean, she's really going to make... You know, she's... Blah, she's really doing a great job. Thanks, Kara. Yay, me! <laughs> <laughs> I get cookies. Okay, that's end of recording. Alrighty. Thanks a lot, J-Rob, for joining the call. Oh, thank you. Thank you for inviting me. <laughs>